think you're tough enough to take on the largest, hairiest animal roaming across North America and Europe right now? Consider this a warning. It's agile, extremely moody, and it has horns, sharp horns. This massive, muscular wall of unmatched brute strength is the fabled, but very real, bison. It can look deceptively slow and peaceful at times, but don't let that get your guard down. When this herbivore's tail goes up while it's staring at you, run, run like your life depends on it, or brace for impact. Just how fast can a galloping bison rush its target? If it's so enormous in physical size, how was it almost wiped out? Why is it now one of nature's most effective firefighters? 200 years ago, the future national mammal of the U.S. could be found grazing from the far reaches of Alaska down to northern Mexico. Back then, upward of 50 million of these beasts and their muscle-packed humps were roaming the Great Plains. That hump helped support the weight of an oversized head designed to push layers of snow out of the way when a bison and its half-meter horns aren't foraging for food. By the late 1800s, overhunting resulted in the American bison's numbers dropping below 100. Today, these all-natural 1,000-kilogram plows occupy only 1% of their former territory, although their population numbers are now estimated to be around 400,000 animals being raised as livestock, with another 30,000 in public or private herds across North America. Despite this, humans still manage to cross paths with bison and tick them off in the process. Let's be blunt here. Bison have absolutely no patience for people. Maybe it's because we still get them confused with buffalo, which upon closer inspection, you'll notice lack a back hump and stylish beard. Buffalo also have larger bodies to go along with larger horns, while bison get to claim the big head crown. Whether or not this justifies someone being charged at speeds approaching 56 kilometers per hour and flung in the air or flattened under hoof because they got too close taking a selfie is up for debate. Among humans, at least. Bison are okay with it. In 2016, bison joined the bald eagle in the ranks of America's national animals. In Europe, the bison has had an equally challenging history when it comes to human interaction. In 1927, there were fewer than 60 European bison in captivity after the last wild bison was shot in Russia that year. This came after decades of overhunting wiped out millions of the animals, which were once common across the continent. Recovery efforts initiated in the 1950s have been successful in bringing their numbers back up to 8,200, including herds roaming across Germany, Poland, and Switzerland. There has been a major unexpected benefit in the increasing bison population for one country in particular that has lost 741,000 hectares of forests over the past 10 years due to wildfires. Spain has reintroduced bison onto private and enclosed land after the species went extinct in the country 10,000 years ago. Why put the call out for them now? One bison can eat 30 kilograms of wildfire fuel every day. Wood, fiber, grass, leaves, all of which is extremely flammable, are staples in a bison's diet. With each mealtime mouthful of scrub, a firefighting bison helps ecosystems rebound as other species forced out by flames return, and dense undergrowth is cleared to make room for new grasses less likely to burn. Spain counts on them for their ability to choke the strength from a wildfire, but even a bison just rolling in the dirt can help ecosystems no matter where in the world it is. Called wallowing, it's what a bison does to get rid of excess hair along with the fleas attached to it. Due to a bison's weight, this dust bath creates an indent in the ground which can then collect rainwater for plants and animals. Is there another beast out there that can compete with a bison's strength? In Africa, the hippo is another oversized mammal with a well-earned bad reputation, killing 500 people each year. That's twice as many as lions, in case you're counting. They can run as fast as some horses, plow snow, and fight fires, all while saving wildlife around them. 
That's what makes bison such crazy creatures.